But I hear the Lord saying, how would you shelter if I multiplied your gift times 1,000? How would you praise when I multiply you times 1,000? How would you dance if I multiply you times 1,000? Times 1,000? Times 1,000? Somebody better get him glory! Latrice Bryant here with Kingdom Sniper Institute. In the course offering, Dismantling the Orphan Spirit, we will deal with an area that has gone widely unaddressed in the body of Christ. And this spirit affects our prayers. It even affects the way that we approach God. And that is the orphan spirit. Um, when Jesus, when the disciples asked Jesus the question, Lord, teach us how to pray in the book of Luke, Jesus started the prayer with these words, our Father. And so God, when we come to God in prayer, when we come to God, we come to him as a son and a father. We come to him as a daughter and a father. So the orphan spirit can show up what it can look like in manifestation. It can look like abandonment. It can look like rejection. And we have to understand that God is not like man. In the course offering Dismantling the Orphan Spirit, we will deal with what it means to be a son, the benefits of sonship, the benefits of having a true covenant with the Father who will never leave you nor forsake you. In the course offering Dismantling the Orphan Spirit. What parts stood out? What was your biggest takeaway um, in that particular lesson? Um, finding the, the root. Um, uh, that was the biggest part for me. Um, overcoming rejection, the root of rejection. And I feel that the root of rejection, as you taught us, it comes from the orphan spirit. What was your, what was your biggest takeaway? The biggest lesson? What you learned? Uh, the, the biggest thing? The, the, the sticking point? What is it? Um, this lesson is so powerful to me and I just been so full tonight because I've dealt with the orphan spirit, uh, my entire life. How, how has this, come on, share, just share. Okay, Give so first, life. I didn't even know what an orphan spirit was and God used you in mighty ways to set me free. And I know that this is just the beginning. So I just thank you because he knows what we need and when we need it. Isaiah 61 in its entirety. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they may be called trees of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he may be glorified and they shall build the old ruins they shall raise up the former desolations and they shall repair the ruined cities the desolations of many generations strangers shall stand and feed your flocks and the sons of the foreigners shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers but you shall be named priests of the Lord they shall call you the servants of our God you shall eat riches of the Gentiles and in their glory you shall boast instead of your shame you shall have double honor instead of confusion they shall rejoice in their portion Therefore, in their land, they 
shall possess double. Everlasting joy shall be theirs. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery for burnt offering. I will direct work in truth. And I will make them an everlasting covenant. Their descendants shall be known among the Gentiles. And their offspring among the people. All who see them shall acknowledge them. That they are the posterity whom the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he has clothed me with garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decks himself with ornaments, as a bride adorns herself with jewels. For as the earth brings forth its bud, as the garden causes the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. Psalms 24 in its entirety. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Selah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up in your life. A new sound of breakthrough that's being released in your life. A new sound of breakthrough and revival is being released in your mouth. Open up your mouth and give God glory. Give him glory. Open up your mouth and give him glory. Oh, that's the sound of victory. Hey, God. That's the sound of victory. Yes, God. That's the sound of victory. That's the sound of victory. That's the sound of a release. That's the sound of a release. I got my release and I got my power back. Oh. Hey. Oh, that's the sound of victory. Oh, that's the sound of victory. Oh, that's the sound of victory. Yes, God. That's the sound of breakthrough. That's the sound of breakthrough for your children. That's the sound of breakthrough for the men attached to your last name. That's the sound of revival. Good morning. What? Good morning. Good morning. In the name. Good morning. 
of Jesus. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I miss you so much. I miss you so much. And thank you so much for praying for me. Thank you so much for praying with me. Thank you so much. God is good. God is amazing. God is so faithful. He is so faithful to his word. So let's come on in. Come on. You know how we do it at the Awakening Prayer Call. This is not a warm up. This is not a warm up. This is not a workout. So we don't have to warm up. When we got up this morning, we were intentional about giving God glory. When we got up this morning, we were intentional Okay, let me know when you can hear me. Amen, amen. Let me know when you can hear me. Let me know when you can hear me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let me know when you can hear me. We're getting the sound right in just a moment. <clears throat> Hallelujah. No sound. Okay, we're coming. It's coming. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Let me know when you can hear me. We're getting the sound. So let me know when you can hear me. Hallelujah. Make sure I'm good on my end. Uh-huh. Glory to God. Okay. This. Amen. Glory to God. Ah, you know what? The devil is retarded. I promise you he is. The enemy is defeated. Defeated. Everybody put that in the comments right now. The enemy is defeated. He has tried everything he can. He has tried with, with all of his power to shut us down. But we decree and we declare, we declare and forth the word of God. No weapon formed against us can prosper. We declare the word of God that no weapon formed against us can prosper. Come on, get in the comments in the name of Jesus. I can hear and I hear a sound. I hear a sound of victory. I hear a sound of breakthrough. I hear a sound of revival. I hear a sound of restoration. I hear a sound of healing in the name of Jesus. So on the awakening prayer call, we come in worshiping. We come in worshiping because worship sets the tone. Worship sets the tone for miracles, signs and wonders. So come in worshiping, come in giving God glory, come in magnifying the Lord thy God, come in glory be to God. Who is God to you? What has he done? Who is, who is he to you? Who do you say that he is? When we worship, we do not worship from a head space, but we worship from a heart space. Why? Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So we worship from a heart space. We flow from the abundance of our heart. We don't try to put it into religious rhetoric we don't try to put it into religious format but we worship out of spirit and in truth we worship from the spirit of truth we worship from the realm of the spirit we don't worship to impress anybody we don't worship to entertain anybody it entertainment it does not matter whether or not you are impressed it does not matter but when we worship the goal of our worship a rock would not cry out in our place we were doing what we are created to do and we were created to worship. So let's worship the Lord. He is awesome. He is amazing. After we worship the Lord, we're going to pray the word of God because the only thing that begs of Satan, the only thing that shuts him down is the word of God. We do not worship. We do not pray from a place of defeat, but we place pray from a place of victory because we know that it is already done. We are already uh, released. 
released. We are already fulfilled. We are already healed. We are already blessed. We are already Rebecca Shanda. We are already moving forward. We are already advancing. We are already progressing. We are not waiting on something to happen. It is already done. Come on. It is done in the spirit realm. We are not. Oh, Ramamasha. Your promise is not regulated by time. Your promise is not governed by time. Your promise is not governed by the laws of the, the of the of the uh, physical realm. Your promise. What God has spoken over your life is not governed by the laws and the realm of the physical realm. It is not governed in the natural realm, but it is governed by the spirit realm. Come on. We live in the natural realm, but we are governed. Yes, God, our order come from the spirit and as snipers come on we enforce and we advance the kingdom of heaven's agenda we enforce and we advance agenda an agenda that is already established we are reminding the enemy we are reminding the earth we are reminding the natural realm what God says we are reminding the natural realm what thus saith the Lord I am redeemed. I am healed. And it is our job to remind the enemy. It is our job to align. Glory be to God to align our words with the words of the spirit. We do not agree with the doctrine of the enemy. We do not agree with the le- with the word of the enemy. We do not agree. Come on, somebody. We do not agree with what's he- with what hell has said. We do not agree with what the enemy says. We do not agree, but we agree and we align with the word of God. After we worship, after we pray the word, we go into warfare in the name of Jesus. So, Father, come on, people of God. As you are sharing, as you are logging on, log on, sharing, get in the comments and begin to worship, worship in the comments, open up your mouth and let your home hear the sound of worship. Let your home hear the sound of travail. Let your home hear the sound of what God says. Let your home hear what God says in the name of Jesus. So father, we bless your name. We thank you because you are mighty. We thank you because you are strong. We thank you because you are everlasting. We thank you because you don't change. You change it not. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And we bless you, God, for being faithful. We bless you for your word. We bless you for your promises. We stand on your word. We agree with your word. We fight with your word. We advance with your word. We progress with your word. And we stand on your promises. We bless you, God, that no weapon formed against these your people will be able to prosper. We praise you, Father, that if the thief come in, the thief will not advance. We thank you, God, that every word from the enemy, every lie from the enemy will not prosper. We bless you, Father, that you have given us power in our lungs. You have given us power in our words. You have given us power, Father, to decree those things that be not as though they already are. And we bless you, God. We adore you, Father. We bless your holy name that we decree the thing. We decree, we declare the end from the beginning. We got Rebecca Shanda. We declare the end from the beginning. And Father, we are blessed in the city. We are blessed in the field. We are blessed when we go in. We are blessed when we come out. Everywhere that our foot shall tread is blessed. And we thank you, God, that your promises yet remain. We praise you, Father, that your promises are sure. We thank you, God, that heaven and earth will pass away, but your promise will yet be there. We praise your father for being Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the door. You are the way, the truth and the light. You are everlasting. You are eternal. You are an infinite. You are God who holy and mighty in all of your ways. You are amazing. We stand amazed at your promises. We stand amazed at your goodness. We stand amazed at your greatness. We stand amazed because you are holy. We stand amazed because you do it. You always come through and we bless you father you always provide and we bless you father you have never left us hanging you cannot fail you cannot lie you can Rebecca shot you cannot relent your word will not return to you void but we praise you and we bless you God that your word shall accomplish we bless your holy name for you are strong and you are mighty you are strong and mighty you are mighty in battle you are everlasting 
your truth endureth through all generations. We praise you, God, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Your word, your name is worthy to be praised. We bless you, Father, for you said in your word that if you be lifted up, you'll draw all men unto thee. And we praise your God for a drawing. We bless you, Father, for a shifting. We bless your God for a release. We bless your God for a shaking. We bless your God for restoration. We bless your God for building up. We bless your God for bringing us through. We bless your God for bringing us out. We bless your God for your light. We bless your God for your fire. We bless your God for your healing. We bless your oh, We bless you for your deliverance. We bless you for your strength. We bless your God that we are made perfect. We bless your God that we are made whole. We thank you God that there are no fragments. There are no remnants. There are no ashes. There are no weak places. There are no broken places. But God, we praise you that every crooked place is made straight. Every rough place is made smooth. And we praise your God that the high place you bring down. We bless your God that before we got into the fight, the fight was already fixed and the fight was already won. We thank you God that we are more than conquerors. Yes, we are. We are more than conquerors. You are the bread of life. You are the chief cornerstone. You are the stone that the builders rejected. You are alpha and you are omega. God, you are my judge. You are my jewelry. You are my shanta. You are my righteousness. You are my strength. You are my joy. You are my peace. You are my love. You are my goal. You are my way out. You are my way in. You are my way over. You are my way through. And we praise your Father. Father. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, that in you there is strength. In you there is hope. In you there is deliverance. In you there is joy. In you there is peace. In you there is love. In you there is hope. In you there is strength. And we praise your Father that you're doing it right now. We bless your God that you're doing it right now. We bless your God that you're strengthening right now. We bless your God uh, that you're delivering right now. Uh, we praise your God uh, for your strength and do it for all generations. We thank you, God, uh, that when you spoke it, you are a big enough God to bring it to pass. When you said it, God, you are a big enough God to release it. When you spoke it, God, you are a big enough God to fulfill it. You are a promise keeper. You are a fulfiller, God. Uh, you are my strength, oh God. Uh, you are my hope, oh God. Uh, you are my light, oh God. Uh, and I praise you now uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, you are the mighty. Messiah. You are our soon coming king. You are my rock of ages. You are Rebbe Shandaya. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are Jehovah Kistiskanu. You are Jehovah Mekadesh. You are the one that healeth. You are the one that does it. You are the one that provides. You are the one that makes through. You are the one that makes whole. You are the one that makes better. You are the one that defends us. You are the one that fight for us. You are the one that does it. You are the one that amazes uh, every demon and every naysayer. You are the one that amazes uh, every demon and every witch. Uh, you are the one who amazes. Uh, hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Uh, nobody is on your level. Uh, nobody is in your place. Uh, nobody is in your stead. Uh, you will not be challenged. Uh, you will not be. A, you don't have a competitor. Uh, you don't have a rival. Uh, you don't have an equal. Uh, you don't have competition. Uh, you are in a class uh, all by yourself. Uh, and God you are holy. Uh, God God, you are righteous. God, you are amazing. God, you are strong. God, you are here. And God, you are now. God, we praise your Father that you are omnipotent. You are omnipower. You are omnipresent. You are all seeing and you are all knowing. You are right here with us and you are right there with them. God, we praise you for you are the Lord of hosts. Rimming in my shire. Everything is at your command. Everything bows to your word. Everything bows to what you say. And God, we bless you in the name of Jesus that you are the Lord of hosts. You are the commander of the God armies. You are the commander of the angel armies. And we bless you now, God, that when you stand up, all of creation bows down. When you stand up, Corona bows down. When you stand up, pneumonia bows down. When you stand up, every sickness bows down. When you stand up, bondage bows down. When you stand up, God, poverty bows down. When you stand up, God, healing back, head 
Shia. Wickedness bows down. When you stand up, God, every demon has to flee. And God, right now, we praise your Father that you are standing strong and mighty. You are standing mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting door, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? He's the Lord, strong and mighty. He's the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your head. Arise, O Zion. Put on strength in the name of Jesus. God, right now, we dismantle every plan of the enemy. We dismantle every plan of the enemy. We dismantle now every thought of the enemy, every word curse, every negative word, every demonic word, every demonic plot, every demonic scheme. Send for these your people. We destroy it now in the name of Jesus. We take away the enemy's power. We take away the enemy's armor. We take away his rules. We take away his tools. We take away his armor. We take away his ammunition. We take it away now, God, in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost of God, we will render the enemy powerless. We stop him now. We issue in the spirit realm a cease and desist in the name of Jesus. Stop right now, devil. We command in the name of Jesus that the enemy stops now. Stop right now. And don't you take another step forward in the name of Jesus. We command the spirit of poverty to stop right now. And don't take another step forward. We command in the name of Jesus the spirit of sickness to stop right now. Not another inch forward. We command the spirit of bondage to stop right now. Don't take another step forward. We destroy the enemy's progress. We destroy the enemy's word. We destroy the enemy's plan. We destroy the enemy's plot in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost of God, we release right now angels on divine assignment. Warring angels, fighting angels like you did for Daniel. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, yes, God, in the book of Daniel, that when Daniel prayed, the Bible says that the angel Michael had came to Daniel and told Daniel, when you first prayed, I heard you. Can I tell somebody that when you first prayed, God heard you. When you first called on his name, God heard you. For he is not a God that he is deaf. He is not a God that his hand is shortened. His ears are not deaf. He can hear. He can save. And he's saving right now. The Bible says that when Daniel, yes, God, when he called on the name of the Lord thy God, the prince of Persia withstood him 21 days. But the Bible says that Daniel is here. And when he came, hallelujah, when Michael came, glory be to God, he didn't show up alone, but he showed up packing. Can I tell somebody that when God shows up, he shows up packing. When God shows up, he shows up with power. When God shows up, he shows up with authority. When God shows up, he shows up. My God, he brings, he brings the boom. He brings the heat in the name of Jesus. And I decree and declare that when God shows up, he shows up for you. He's bringing the heat. God, bring the heat. Hey, bring the heat in the name of Jesus. Bring the heat on these your people. Bring the heat on these your people. God, bring the heat for Cassandra. Bring the heat for Jeremy. Bring the heat for Jeremiah. God, bring the heat for Rita. Bring the heat for Linda. God, bring the heat in the name of Jesus. When God shows up, he don't show up alone, but your answer. He's showing up with your answer in the name of Jesus. And we bless your God. We praise your God. We glorify your God. That every prayer we prayed did not fall on deaf ears. Every prayer we prayed did not fall. It didn't fall to the ground. But we give you glory that when we released it, glory be to God. Heaven backed it. When we released it, heaven agreed. When we released it, heaven manifested it. When we released it, 
it. Heaven did it in the name of Jesus. And we praise you and we glorify you that it's already done. Put in the comments, it's already done. He's already heard you. He's already hear you. He hears you when you cry. He hears you when you call on him. He hears you when you kneel down. He hears you when you bow down. And we decree supernatural strength in the name of Jesus. Uh, strength right now uh, to my brothers. Uh, strength right now uh, to the men of God. Uh, raise them up, God. Uh, raise them up, God. Uh, in the name uh, of Jesus, uh, we destroy uh, every contract uh, for the men of God. Uh, we destroy uh, every contract, uh, every blood covenant, uh, every generational curse uh, over the men of God. Uh, we destroy it uh, in the name uh, of Jesus. Uh, God destroy uh, the word curse we destroy right now and we uproot it in the name of Jesus we praise your God yes God we uproot it in the name of Jesus every word curse every altar every demonic altar that our children's names are on every demonic altar that our sons names are on every demonic altar that the young men the black and brown men names are on we dismantle every demonic altar and we wash it in the blood of Jesus we destroy yes God every dog every demonic dog that has picked up the men of God sent in the name of Jesus we destroy in the name of Jesus we cut off the legs we cut off the tongue we cut off the might we cut off the strength of every demonic platoon that is after the men of God they will not have them they cannot have them they will not destroy them. They will not take them. They will not snatch them. But we snatch them. We snatch them back from the grips of hell. We snatch back our sons and daughters. We snatch back our husbands and cousins. We snatch back our nephews. We snatch back. We snatch them back in the name of Jesus. You can't have them. Loose them and let them go. The blood of Jesus is against you now. Loose them now. Loose them now. Release them now. In the name of Jesus, we speak right now over our sons that they'll have great success. They will do great things. They will be great fathers. They will be great sons. They will be great men. In the name of Jesus, they will not fail. They will not fail. No failure for our sons. No failure for our daughters. No failure for our future. Our future will not fail. We snatch off every addiction in the name of Jesus. We snatch it by the blood of the Lamb. They will not fail. They will not fall. The blood of Jesus is on their lives. The anointing of God is on their lives. The hand of God is on their lives. In the name of Jesus, they Pharaoh will not have them. Herod will not stop them. The blood God covers. God keep them. God protect them. God got them. In the name of Jesus. Every young man, every young woman, the blood of Jesus, they'll raise up and destroy every demonic word. They'll raise up and destroy every demonic plot. They'll raise up and destroy every demonic statistic. In the name of Jesus, God do it. God do it. God do it for your men. God do it for your men. In the name of Jesus, you are the God who can do anything. You are the God who does everything. You are the God who can do anything but fail. There is no failure. You can't fail and we won't fail. We bless you in the name of Jesus for there is no failure. There is no blunder. There is no falling. We shall arise. We shall stand up as a great army. We shall come out as pure gold. We shall go forward as a great army. Open up your mouth. Give God glory. Hey! Yeah, God. 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 
Yeah, God. Yeah, God. Yeah, God. Glory to 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 God. Yo, mama, see, come on, show Let me tell y'all this real quick. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Today's date. What's today's date? August 25th. Somebody, one of my friends, one of our prayer warriors, uh, just sent me a text and said and asked a question. Is this before the sickness or after the sickness? Is this today? Is this prayer that we're doing this morning? Is it today or was it before the sickness? Y'all don't know when to shout. Is it today? Who shit, huh? My friend just asked me, just texted me just then, and she said, is this today? Is this going on right now? Is this an old prayer or is this right now? Today is August 25th. For about 21 days, or longer than that, for about three weeks, I have been, uh, the enemy has attacked my body. For about 21 days, over to, for about three weeks, the enemy has been attacking my body. And for my friend to ask, is this before you got sick or is this right now? Can I tell you, Ushaya, for anybody that's going through anything, can I tell you that when God bring you back, it will be like you never left. When, you bring, when God bring you back, he can't bring you back how you went out. He can't bring you back, my God in heaven. He can't bring you back how you went out. But when God bring you back, I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus that you are coming back like you never left. You are coming back, Roboshaya. You are coming back stronger. You are coming back with more power. You are coming back with no authority. You are coming back with more fire. You are coming back, watch this, not operating in your flesh, but you are coming back relying and leaning on God. Can I prophesy to somebody right here that when you come back, you are coming back on top. When you come out, you are coming out on top. When you come out, you're not coming out how you went in. You won't go out how you went in. You won't be how you were. My God, forget about the form of things. The Bible says in Isaiah 43, verse, watch this, y'all. I got to read it. I got to read it. The Bible says, the Bible says, Isaiah, woo, glory to God. Glory to God. The Bible says in Isaiah 43, I want to read it from the message version of the Bible. The Bible says in Isaiah 43, Shanda de Bosica. See, because what you don't know, huh, glory be to God. What you didn't see, Eka, you didn't see how I couldn't breathe. You, could, you didn't see how I couldn't talk. You didn't see how I, how I had to have oxygen. You didn't see how I ran eight days the day before I got sick and the next day I could barely walk four feet. You didn't see that. Oh, hey, yeah, 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 oh, say it. I got to get off of here. The Bible says, whoo, in Isaiah 43, verses 18 through 19 from the message version of the Bible. The Bible says, dun, 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 bo, sa, ta, da. they didn't see it. They didn't know it. Dun, dun, bo, ko, sha. The Bible says, forget about who, Baba, forget about what's happened. Mm. Don't keep going over old history. 
God said, when I bring you out, he said, I'm giving you supernatural amnesia. When I bring you out, I'm giving you supernatural amnesia. My God, you won't forget. You won't forget what you came out of, but you won't look like what you just came out of. When I bring you out, I'm giving you supernatural amnesia. You will still remember. You will have a testimony, but you won't remember the pain from it. You won't remember the discomfort from it. You won't remember the embarrassment from it. You won't remember the weakness from it. When you come out, you're going to have a testimony. But you won't remember. He said, forget about the old things. Forget about what has happened. Don't keep replaying old history. He said, be alert. Uh huh. Be present. Why? Because I'm about to do something brand new. And I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that God is doing something brand new in your life. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that there's a brand new anointing. There's a brand new fire. There's a brand new grace. There's a brand new vision. There's a brand new revelation. There's a brand new worship. There's a brand new tongue. There's a brand new language. There's a brand new perspective. There's a brand new thing. There's brand new equipment. Brand new resources. Brand new stages. Brand new platforms. Brand new doors. Brand new tables. Brand new places that you got to walk in. And when you walk in, you're not walking in bruised. You're not walking in wounded. You're not walking in broken. But when you walk in, you will walk in strong. Strong. You will walk in great. He said, forget about the old things. Oh, be alert. Be present. For I'm about to do something brand new. It's bursting out. Don't you see it? When something bursts out, that means glory to God. That there is so much of it that it begins to overflow. When something bursts out, that means that there's so much of it that one container cannot hold it. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that you will have so much revelation. You will have so much favor. You will have so much fire that there will not be enough space to contain it. There will not be enough space to hold it. You, my God, you'll have so much that you will be able to leave some to your children and your grandchildren. Because God said what I'm doing, I'm establishing legacy. I'm building spiritual legacies. I'm building financial legacies. I'm building legacy in ministry. I'm building legacy in your life. It will be so much that your children will feast off of it. It will be so much that your grandchildren will feast off of it. It will be so much, my God, that you will have enough to live for seven generations. I decree and declare, my God, generational, generational blessings, generational wealth, generational anointing, generational prophecy, generational apostles. In the name of Jesus, your children, your seed that has not even been born will be born into legacy. You are there born into royalty. They are born in the strength. They are born in the glory. In the name of Jesus, your wilderness days are over. Your Egypt days are over. Your Babylon days are over. Your Pharaoh days are over. Because God says, get ready. You are going to a place that is off limits and off reach to the devil. You are going in a place that the devil cannot detect. You are going in a place that is undetected by the enemy. You are going in a place where the enemy can't find. You are going in a place where the enemy is off limits. God said, I've marked you. I've marked you for glory. I've marked you for destiny. I've marked you for success. I've marked you for the anointing. You are marked by God. When the enemy sees you, he sees a mark by God. He can't kill you. He sees a mark by God. He'll come at your body, but he will not be able to destroy it because you are marked by God. Everybody type right now. I am marked. I am marked. I'm marked by God and the devil can't touch me. I'm marked by God and I'm not a failure. Forget about your failure days. Forget about your sick days. Forget about your broken days. Forget about your wounded days. You spend too much time testifying about the wound. You spend too much time focusing on the sickness. But arise, oh God. Arise, oh Zion.
Zion and put on strength. You spend so much time focusing on your wounds. You've licked your wounds. You've nursed your wounds. You didn't want to move because you didn't want to hurt your womb. But I'm coming for somebody. Well, God says, arise, take up your bed and walk. Arise, put on strength. Arise, fix your hair. Put your clothes on. Be about your father's business. Arise out of the ashes. Arise out of pity. Arise out of the plan of the enemy. Arise in the name of Jesus. You said, I'm going to take it easy. You said, I'm not going to do too much. You said, I don't want to offend nobody. But God says, what I'm about to do in your life is going to offend every naysayer, every rubbishah, every ninja that casts you out. God says, what I'm about to do in your life will offend everyone that credits you out. God says, what I'm about to do in your life will offend everyone that say you're going to die. God says, what I'm about to do in your family will offend every generational curse. It will offend every demon that set his mouth against your family in the name of Jesus. If the devil had known who you would be after this storm, he wouldn't have bothered you in the name of Jesus. Arise! Put on strength. Arise. Take up strength. Arise. Walk in the door. Arise. Walk in your purpose. Arise. Walk in your anointing. Arise. Walk in your fulfillment. Arise. Walk in your destiny. Arise. Walk in your strength. Arise. Walk in the glory. Arise. 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 You're not dead. You won't die. But you shall live to declare the works of the Lord. You won't die. You won't fail. You shall live to declare the glory of God. You will be like the man in the book of John who was born blind. The disciples asked Jesus a question. Who sinned that this man was born blind? Jesus said nobody sinned but he was born this way so that the glory of the Lord could be revealed. Can I tell somebody that what you were in was not because of sin. What you were in is not because you failed but you were in it so the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. The glory shall come forth. The glory shall be revealed. The glory shall go forth. The glory shall be revealed. Open up your mouth. Give God glory. Open up your mouth. Give him praise. Open up for the glory. Open up. Arise and shine for the light has come. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. The glory of the Lord shall come in. Shall glory. How? Yes, God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, God. 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 The glory. The glory. Watch this. I got one more. I got to go. I got one. They gave me 30 minutes. I got one more. And I got to go. Here it is. Here it is. I got one more. And I got to go. I got one more. And I got to go. I got to go. Watch this. The Bible says, whoo, shika. The Bible says in Ezekiel 37, verse 1. The Bible says, the hand of the Lord was on me. He brought me out of the out by the spirit of the Lord. Ooh! The hand of the Lord was on you and God brought you out by the spirit of the Lord. Watch this. The hand. Woo oh, my God. The hand of the Lord was upon you. This is Ezekiel 37, verse 1 from the NIV version. The hand, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man. Oh, come on, come on, go back, go back. Uh, the hand of the Lord was on me. He brought me out by the spirit. 
don't you run past that as if it, it, by God like you don't see that. He said he brought me out by the spirit. He didn't bring you out by the medicine. Who medicine may have contributed, but he brought you out by the spirit. He didn't bring you out by your own good works. That's all good. But God said, I brought, I did this thing in the spirit. He said, he brought me out by the spirit of the Lord and set me, watch this, in a valley and it was full of bones. Hoo -hoo. He led me back and forth among them. I saw great many bones on the floor. They were real dry. They were dry. I saw many bones. They didn't look good. They were dry. Watch this. And God asked him a question. Now, when God asks you a question, he does not ask you a question for you to answer for his enlightenment. He asks you a question to check for your understanding. God ain't doing this. It's every question that God asks you. It's rhetorical because he already knows the answer. So every question that God asks us, mm -hmm, it's rhetorical. He's not asking a question for his own enlightenment. He does not need you to enlighten him on anything. He's asking you that for your own understanding. Because in other words, as the preacher said, you, I'm going somewhere. And so when God asks you this question, he's not asking you anything uh, 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 for you to bring him in, for you to give him clarity on something. Oh no, mm -mm, he don't need that. And, I, and, 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 and Ezekiel said, I said, sovereign Lord, only uh, you alone know. He said to me, prophesy to these bones, say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Watch this. Uh, Ezekiel prophesied. He, he did everything that God said. He did everything that God told him to do. He did all of that. He did all that. Watch this. I want to go down to verse 10. And so the verse nine. And so watch this, y'all. The Bible says he said to me, prophesy to the breath, mm. <laughs> prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, son of man, and this is what the sovereign Lord says. Come breath from the four winds, breathe into these slain that they may live. Watch this. So the Bible says in verse 10, so I prophesied as he commanded and the breath entered them. They came to life and stood up on their feet as a vast army. Can I tell you something? When he looked at it, when he first got into the valley in verse one, he saw bones. When he first got into the valley in verse one, verses one through three, it looked very dry. There was nothing going on. There was no growth. There was no, there was no uh, greenery. There was no fulfillment. There was no movement. There was no nourishment. There was nothing of that. It was only bones. When he first got into the situation, when he first got into the valley, it was nothing but bones. My God. And God told me, he said, Tracy, tell my people this. It may look like bones right now. Oh, but don't you look on the natural. You got to look in the spirit because you see bones in the natural. But God said, I see an army in the spirit. God said, you see bones in the natural, but I see an army in the spirit. The Bible says in Ezekiel 37 and 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me and breath into them and they came to life and they stood up on their feet a vast army what used to be bones God said now it's an army oh my God can somebody prophesy over their life we are an army my God it was bones but we are an army they see bones but I see an army they looking at bones but what I see I see in the spirit realm and I see an army they see bones but we see an army they see death but we see life they see destruction but we see restoration they see it ain't gonna happen but we see it's already done they see a curse we see see a blessing. They see a closed door. But what do you see? I see an open door. I see green pasture. I see restoration. I see fulfillment. I see the glory. They see an army. They see bones. But I see an army. And I decree and declare that the glory of the Lord is about to raise us up stronger, a stronger army than we ever been. The glory of the Lord is raising us up and we're going forth like never before. The glory of the Lord is strengthening us up and we will not die. We will not destroy. We will not be destroyed. When I was sick, I had to preach to myself and I had to tell myself, death ain't in my script. My God, I cannot lie because I'm the star of this. I cannot die because my God, I still got work to do and death ain't in my script. When COVID said 
said die. God said live. When pneumonia said die, God said live. When pneumonia said a dry bone, God said I see an army in the army and I prophesy. Breathe breath back into her. And in the name of Jesus, I speak breath. I speak life back into you in the name of Jesus that you are coming forth as a great army. Arise woman. Arise man. Arise child. Arise ministry. Arise pastor. Arise first lady. Arise daughters. Arise midwives. Arise in the name of Jesus. They see bones but God says there is an army on the inside of you. They see death but God says there is an army that's about to come out of this. They see it's over but God says there is an army that's about to spring forth. Your vision spring forth. Your dreams spring forth. This is your time to launch. This is your time to come out. You won't die. We rebuke thoughts of death. We rebuke spirit of death. We won't die but we shall live to declare the works of the Lord. We will testify of the goodness of the Lord. We will say to the ends of the earth that can't nobody do me like Jesus. We will say until our last breath that can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody hold me like Jesus. Can't nobody perform like Jesus. Can't nobody, can't nobody, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Open up your mouth. Give God glory. The glory of the Lord. My God, rest on you. Rest on your house. Rest on your ministry. Rest on your hands. Rest on what you got. Rest on what's in your heart. Rest on your purpose. Rest on your plan. The glory rest in the name of Jesus. My God, I see an army. I see an army. I see an army. I see an army. Yeah. I see an army. Yeah. I see an army. Yeah. I see an army. 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 Open up your mouth and shout glory. Hey. Yeah. Shout glory. I see an army. Oh my God. Yeah. I see an army. It can't die. I see an army. It can't die. I see an army. It can't die. I see an army in the name of Jesus. Ramaya Basa. I see an army. I see an army. I see an army. You're sowing. You're going to go to our website for those. If the Lord lays upon your heart, you are sowing a seed into the word. Woo into the word that was spoken, that was released over your life. When you sow that seed, you're going to tag that seed with I see an army. Shia, my God, a sophisticated army. An army is coming out of you. An army is coming out of you. An army, I decree it, I prophesy that an army is coming out of you. The ways to give are on the screen. The ways to give are on the screen. LatriceRyan.com, cash app is dollar sign Latrice Ryan. The ways to give are on the screen. I see an army. I see an army. I see an army coming out of you. I see an army arise out of you. Cash app is dollar sign Latrice Ryan. When you sow that seed, you sow it. I see an army. When you sow that seed, I see an army. There's an army coming out of you, man of God. There's an army. <laughs> My God, there's an army. It may look like bones right now, but there's an army coming out. I see an army for you. I see an army for you. I see an army for your future. I see an army for your future. LatriceRyan.com. Cash app is dollar sign Latrice Ryan. The ways to give are on the screen. LatriceRyan.com. Cash app is dollar sign Latrice Ryan. I see an army. When you sow that seed, you're going to tag it. I see an army. An army in my ministry. Don't call your ministry small. Don't call what God gave you small. Don't call your business small. Don't call your career small. There is nothing small about you. There is nothing menial about you. There is nothing average about you. There is nothing status quo about you. I see an army. You see bones. You see 
dryness. You see a desert, but God says, I see an army. There's an army. I know what I put in you. And there's an army in the name of Jesus. There's an army. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. There's an army. That's it. I see an army. I see an army. I see an army. I see an army for your ministry, man of God, for your business, man of God, for your future child of God, for your future woman of God. I see an army. I see multiple. I see more than one, not just one. I see an army. You can't be an army of one, baby. You got to have school. What makes an army? Come on. There, there, there are levels of battalions. There are different squads. There are different battalions all over the world deployed all over the world. I see an army. My God, it's not just one of you, but I see an army. It's just it's not just a, a, a small piece of you, but I see an army. It's so much bigger than you. It's so much bigger than you can imagine. Cash app is dollar sign Latrice Ryan, Latrice Ryan.com Latrice Ryan.com. Cash app is dollar sign Latrice Ryan. Glory be to God. I gotta go, y'all. My God. Thank you, for, thank you everybody for praying for me over the last three weeks. Thank you so much for praying for me. The prayers of the righteous availeth much. The prayers... Oh! Oh! The prayers of the righteous availeth much. Thank you, Kingdom Sniper. Everybody in Kingdom Snipers, all of our Kingdom Snipers who have been trained, uh, uh, taught and trained to pray. They were praying for us. My team, my staff, my family, everybody praying for me, praying for my healing. And this is the result of it. Glory be to God. And God is doing a complete work, a complete work, a complete work. Glory to God. A complete work. Y'all have no idea. I'm a holler just because I can. I'm a holler just because I can. Cause oh my God, I'm a holler just because I can. I'm a holler just just to make the devil mad. Cause every time he attack my breathing, I'm a holler every time I think about it just because I can. Ha! Kingdom snipers, you said I want I want to I want to I want to I want to enroll in Kingdom snipers. You can KingdomSniper.com. All the information is there on LatriceRyan.com. KingdomSniper.com. All the information is there. Glory be to God. If you are unsaved and you want to be saved, if you are unsaved and you want to know the Lord thy God, you want to know the Lord thy God, I want you to lift up your hands wherever you are. Glory to God. If you are unsaved and you want to be saved, I want you to lift up your hands wherever you are and just repeat after me, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry for my sins. Come into my heart. Save me, Lord. Deliver me, Lord. Renew me, Lord. I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that you rose for my sins. I confess with my mouth, believe in my heart, accept you over my life as Lord over all. Save me, Lord. Deliver me, Lord. And with your help, I know I can make it. I'll live for you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. And just like that, you are saved. I love you all. I was supposed to pray for 30 minutes. <laughs> Glory to God! Glory to God! I was supposed to pray for 30 minutes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, but I praise the Lord thy God. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord for restoration, for healing, for healing my body. I praise the Lord. I thank God for that. All right. May the Lord God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he lift up his countenance and may all men call you blessed. We seal this prayer with shalom. May there be nothing missing, broken, or lacking in your life. God bless you in shalom. I love y'all. Bye-bye. It's being released in your life. A new sound of breakthrough that's being released in your life. A new sound of breakthrough and revival is being released in your mouth. Open up your mouth and give God glory. Give him glory. Open up your mouth and give him glory. Hey, Shia Yamaha. Oh, that's the sound of victory. Hey, God. That's the sound of victory. Yes, God. That's the sound of victory. That's the sound of victory. That's the sound of a release. That's the sound of a release. I got my release and I got my power back. Hey, Shia. Oh, hey, oh, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, shy, I tell you. Hey, oh, that's the sound.
sound of victory. Oh, that's the sound of victory. Oh, that's the sound of victory. Yes, God. That's the sound of breakthrough. That's the sound of breakthrough for your children. That's the sound of breakthrough for the men attached to your last name. That's the sound of revival. I don't care what the enemy says. I don't care what the media says. I hear a sound concerning my babies. I don't care what the enemy says. It doesn't matter what the media says. I hear a sound from heaven. I hear a sound from heaven. I hear a sound from heaven. In the name.